Hi, in this video I just want to show you a very quick overview of how we are going to use Slack in this course. Okay, it's not a complete comprehensive tutorial on Slack. For that you can look at YouTube, you can look at the Slack website and so on. They've posted lots and lots of uh, instructions. You probably don't need to do any of that because it's fairly simple. Okay, uh, so you might have joined one of my Slack courses. In Slack, an organization is called as a team and the team consists of a bunch of people who are interacting. Okay, so when I sent you out in, uh, the details for joining, you got the details to join one of the teams for one of my courses. Okay, let's assume that this is the course which you have joined. It's, it might be or it might not be the course that you have currently joined, but for uh, illustration's sake, let's just use this course. Okay, uh, you might or might not be in this course, so the screen won't look exactly the same, but the concepts are all the same. Okay, so on the top left, uh, as soon as you sign into, uh, into Slack, you probably see a screen which looks something like this, and uh, you've got this direct messages, and Slack bot is highlighted. Okay, now before we jump into all of that, let's, trick and, uh, let's understand what's going on on this side. Okay, so on the top here is the name of the team, and this is showing you basically your name. So in this case, it's showing KV because my account. I have signed in, so it's showing KV, which is my username. Okay, and then it's showing you channels, a bunch of channels, okay? In Slack, channel is sort of like, you know, see one way in which you could look at this is, you okay, you create a team and everybody simply starts posting messages to the team. Okay, in that case, what will happen is that all the messages will just be jumbled up in one big chunk. Okay, if you do want to impose some organization on the messages, then you could divide the messages into channels. Okay, which is essentially you could think of channels as topics. Okay, now think of it this way Slack is used a lot in organizations, so you might have one Slack team within an organization and within the team some people may be involved in marketing some people may be involved in uh, you know uh, sales promotion some people involved in design and so on so for their dis individual discussions rather than posting everything into one place they might want to create separate channels for each of their sub areas and when they're posting something relevant to a sub area they would then go and post into the channel okay so that's one way in which organizations would use slack channels the way we are going to use channels in this course is, of course, Slack, uh, every team always comes with two channels. called One is called general and the other is called random. Okay, so those are two channels which are always available and you can post messages to those channels anytime. Okay, you could do that. All of us could be posting to general and all the messages will be sitting in the general channel. What I would like to do is to impose a little more organization and for each unit of our course, I'm going to create a channel, okay? So if you want to post a question related to, let's say, unit one, then uh, first of all, what you would have to do is initially in your screen, you will only be seeing, it'll be showing channels and how many ever channels there are currently in the team. It'll show that, but it'll show you only the two channels in which you are currently signed up, which is general and random. Everybody is signed up on those channels by default. Okay, so those are the only two channels you will see on the left hand side. Okay, now uh, what I would uh, advise you to do is, let's say you want to post a question related to unit one of your course. This may not be your course, like I said. Then what you should do is click on channels Okay, and then here you'll see a complete list of all the channels in the course. So then you can click on unit one, enterprise systems here, you click on it, and then you'll see the option. The idea here is that uh, there'll be a lot of channels and people will go look into a channel and see, you know, browse the channel, see what kinds of messages are being written there and join the channel if they are interested. Okay, in our case, all of us are in the same course. All the channels of interest to all, are of interest to all of us. Okay, so you really don't need to browse the channel and then join the channel. So what I would just say is, select, a, click on the channel, and right now since I've already joined, uh, it's not going to show me an option to join the channel. But when you do it, you'll see an option to join the channel. Go ahead, join the channel. Okay, so in this manner you could join all the channels. So once you did that, 
you will see your screen looking like this. Okay, you'll see all the channels because you've now joined all the channels. And in order to post a message to any of the channels, simply click on the channel, go here, type your message. Okay, then everybody else who signed up for the channel will see the message and they'll be able to respond to the message or do whatever. Okay, that's the idea. So this is where I think we'll be doing most of our work within channels. But there could be occasions when you want to directly send messages to uh, either me or to other group members. Okay, so that's what you see here, direct messages. And under direct messages, you'll see all the people who are members of the team. Okay, and then you could just click, uh, let's say I want to send a direct message here to, uh, to Jake Alexander. I can click on Jake Alexander and then send a message. Now, since I have selected Jake Alexander, the message I'm sending is going only to Jake Alexander not to a channel, not to everybody else, okay? So when you post a message, you have a choice. Post it either to a channel or post it to uh, users, okay? And uh, in our case, we would very rarely have to, I think, use the direct messaging option unless you want to use this to chat with each other. Uh, it's showing some people uh, as, uh, you know, selected here. I am guessing that that's indicating that those people are currently online. So maybe you're sitting down working on an assignment reading something you don't understand and you want to ask a friend of yours, go ahead, directly message a friend, get your answer. Okay. Uh, and of course, uh, I would say that any question related to any of the subject matter topics, okay, uh, which is, you know, you have a doubt about something or a particular question in the assignment is not clear or you have a question about, oh, professor, you haven't yet posted the assignment. When, when do you plan to post it? Any of these kinds of questions whose answers are of possible interest to everybody in the class, post them to the appropriate channel, okay? But on the other hand, if you want to directly speak to me about something, only to me, not generally post, for example, let's say you're highly concerned about how you're doing in the class and you want to talk, uh, talk to me about this, obviously this is not something you want to post to the entire group. So in this case, you could just, you know, select me and send me a message and then I will respond to that message directly to you. Okay, so that's these are essentially the concepts we're going to use. I strongly encourage you to post any questions that you have under the relevant channels uh, or send a direct message if you think that is appropriate. Uh, the idea of the reason I'm saying don't post subject matter related questions directly to me because you have a question, a lot of other people in the class have probably have the same question so if you post it in the channel and I respond, that response is then visible and useful to everybody rather than me responding individually to 58 students. Okay, right now there are 58 students in the class, right? So it becomes really uh, unmanageable for me if I'm going to message individually with each of you. In fact, that's the reason we use tools like this so that all the communications related to the course are in one place. Okay, uh, so that's it. That this is These are the features you need to understand in so far as Slack goes. Of course, Slack allows you to, uh, within a message, you know, attach uh, pictures and so on. So, you know, later on in the course, you have some question, uh, you say, okay, this is a screenshot, what should I do? You can post the screenshot right to Slack itself. You don't have to email any of these things, okay? So you can figure out all of those things as you go along, okay? I just want to keep this short and give you a really brief overview of how we are planning to use Slack. Okay, I think Slack is a great tool. We're going to have a great time. Uh, feel free to, uh, to post a lot and in exchange a lot of information with the rest of the class. I think there's a lot of, uh, it's, it's useful to interact with your classmates. You learn a lot from each other, apart from learning from the instructor. And in fact, um, you know, when uh, somebody posts a question, okay, let's say somebody says, oh, I don't understand how this is working. You're saying that uh, you in the sense in the video, you're showing that the answer is two, whereas uh, when I try it out, the answer comes out to be three because of X, Y, Z, okay? So you post a question like that, then when somebody posts such a question, don't assume that only the instructor is supposed to answer these questions, right? In fact, I would strongly encourage, if you know the answer, go ahead and put in the answer. It could be wrong, it doesn't matter, okay? So that'll be just, an idea for me of how you're thinking and so on. Most of the time, I think the answers that people provide would be correct. 
and that is useful okay so don't wait for me to answer the question if you know the answer or if you think you want to take a shot at the answer go right ahead jump in and i'll join the conversation after a little bit of time uh, i'll i'll allow some time for you guys to interact with each other then i'll jump in and maybe evaluate all the answers or whatever it is and give what i think is a reasonable answer okay so let's use this as a friendly place it's not a place i'm not sitting here trying to grade your participation in slack zero you know there's the the idea is that you need a place where you can interact with your classmates especially because this is a 100% online course and uh, i i still want to create a sense of us being in a classroom that's the idea here okay so go ahead enjoy slack thank you <laughs>